Providing clean, safe, reliable water to your tap is Denver Water's mission. While there is no lead in the water we deliver to your home, lead can get into the water as it passes through lead service lines or household plumbing that contains lead. Service lines are the pipes that connect our water mains in the street to your home's internal plumbing. Customers own the service lines, Denver Water owns the water mains. If you are waiting to have your lead service line replaced as part of Denver Water's lead reduction program, there are several steps you can take in the meantime to reduce the risk of lead exposure in your home. These steps are filtering your water, cleaning your faucet aerators or screens, and flushing water through your pipes. If you have a lead service line or faucets and plumbing that contain lead, it's important to filter your water before drinking, cooking, preparing infant formula, or when making coffee, tea, or other beverages. You can do this by using the water pitcher and filter provided by Denver Water. These are certified to remove lead. Remember to always use cold water to fill up your pitcher. If the water in your home has not been used for several hours, such as overnight or when returning from work, run cold water through the faucet for five minutes before filling up your pitcher. This step will bring fresh water from the water main to your home. To clean your faucet aerators, first unscrew and remove them from all of your faucets. You may need an aerator key or tool to remove a recessed screen. If the aerator is stuck, a wrench or pliers may be needed. Just be sure to wrap a cloth or towel around the faucet to prevent scratches. Take the aerator apart and then soak all of the parts in white vinegar for five minutes. Then gently scrub them with a brush. Doing these steps will get rid of any lead or debris that may have been caught in the screen. While the aerators are off, it's time to flush your pipes. Here are the steps to flush your pipes properly. If it's warm enough, turn on an outdoor spigot, run it for two to three minutes and turn it off. Then go inside and fully open all of the cold water faucets. Start on the lowest level of the home and work your way upstairs. This includes every sink, bathtub, and shower, so they are all running at the same time. Let the cold water run for 30 minutes, starting when the last faucet was turned on. Be sure to check that the water is draining properly. You may even want to capture some of that water for your plants. After 30 minutes, go to the top floor and turn off all the faucets as you work your way downstairs. Once all of the water is off, reassemble your aerators and screw them back into the faucets. These steps will help flush any lead particles that may be trapped in your plumbing. As an important reminder, you should continue using your water filter and pitcher while you wait to have your service line replaced. Continue using the filter for six months after the work is completed. It's also a good idea to continue cleaning your aerators and flushing your pipes every six months while waiting for your service line replacement. You can continue doing these steps after replacement as well to ensure safe, great tasting water. For more information, visit denverwater.org slash lead.